Hi guys, welcome in Advanced Excel program 2013 and I am Sanjay Kumar, your trainer. So far in Advanced Function and Formula chapter, we have covered VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, LOOKUP, MATCH and INDEX functions. And now we are going to learn OFFSET. OFFSET is one of the most powerful function in Excel tool. In this video, we will learn the basic use of OFFSET function before moving into Advanced Excel series. So here I have opened Excel 2013 and for this demo we have a small employee table. And with the help of offset function, we will try to find employee name, country and group details. So let's see how we can use offset function to find detail for employee name, country and group. So I click equal sign, offset and here in the syntax you would see we have a reference. Reference is that cell that you have to identify in your table through which offset can understand that from where your table is going to start or in another word from where your data is going to be counted. So usually we take the first cell of your record set. So it would not be your header, it should be your actual record. So it's depend on you that how you want to use that. You also can take header as well. That's completely your decision. Now moving forward in time. I'm going to type comma and rows. Offset start from zero rows. So even if you uh, type zero, it will take it. It will accept that. And that counting would start from the reference cell. So if I type zero like this, the first row in, the, in that record set would be the same row from where the reference uh, cell going to start. If I would give one, that would count the next row in the table. So let's move forward. I'm gonna type comma and let's see here the column. The columns are also work in the same way as row works. So it would also start from zero and from your reference cell. So if I type zero, it would take the same column which has your reference cell. So let's take it as a default because we need employee name in our first cell here that we want to populate and here you would see a height and width that we will discuss in a power excel chapter so let's hit enter and see what it populates it is populating the mic that is the the first row that is a zero and the first column in our table so let's try one more time with the country and again going to type offset the reference would be the same cell, the first cell of the table, rows. Yes, we want the same row that we used before. So it would be zero and column. So that would be the sixth column in our table. So if you count, that would be the seventh column in our table. But as offset, count zero as well. So it would be six. So it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's type 6 here and hit enter. So here we got mic and country detail. And now in the same way we can populate group as well. So let's try again with offset. The first cell of the table row would be 0 and column would be 7. Hit enter and it worked. This was the basic introduction with offset function and later in a power excel chapter we will learn advanced use of offset and a fusion with other functions. So I hope this class was informative for you. So in next class we will learn how to use sum if function. Don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so you can get update on coming videos in this series. Thank you for watching this video we will meet again.